Hey, you made it back. Welcome back to my channel. So glad to have you. Today, we're gonna get into it. Let's do it, you ready? Let's go. Hey, it's Saturday. That means we're gonna spend some time with God. Welcome to Saturdays with God with your girl, Ashley Renee. Don't forget, like, share, and subscribe. Let's get started. So last week we talked about self-sabotage and how much damage we can cause in our lives by literally fighting against God, against purpose, against ourselves. It can create a very hard life and a very defeated mental, like you're de you feel defeated mentally. Um, it may be asked the question, how do we get to that place of self-sabotage? How do we get to that place of defeatedness? Um, how do we get to a place where we just, we feel like nothing is going to work, so therefore let me destroy it. That's not a conscious thought, it's a very unconscious. I believe, or I think, it is fear, regrets, and life experiences. I think it's all about each and every one of them, or better yet, the true thing is a lack of belief. Are you a true believer? Do you believe that you are who God says you are? That God is who he says he is? Or are you like me and most people? I believe most of the time. Forget sometimes. And just plain out have doubt other times. Isn't that like everybody? The reason I ask is because my faith has been challenged in the last few weeks, months, last year, about how much I really believe. Being stretched and pulled, not to break me, but to strengthen me and my faith has been really hard. And it causes me to question, how much do I really believe? And what do I really believe? Now, I know you're thinking, if she don't believe, or she has doubts, is she qualified to write this or to even do this vlog or give encouragement to other people? Uh, yeah. That's exactly the reason that I can encourage you. Simply put, I just simply talk about what I'm going through, what I live every day, the struggles that I am having. I talk about them. I let you in on the insight that God gives me. Do with it what you will. I'm doing my part. Okay? This is just what I go through, and I'm sharing it with you. My transparency. But truthfully, sometimes I forget who I am or whose I am. I forget the authority that I've been given and I forget what I know and what I've seen. I know you experience it yourself. Those times when every task you have to do comes crashing down all at one time. Like life comes at you like a Mack truck and you start to breathe a little hard. Like, good God, can anything else go wrong? Can, where are you? Like, tell the truth. The first thought in your mind when these things happen, it isn't always, God, you got me right. One step at a time, no. Don't lie. Sometimes you go straight to the, oh my God, what am I going to do? And not in the truly asking God what to do, but more in the redundant statement type of way. Like, I have no clue what to do. We forget in that split second about our faith, our belief, and the authority that we have to be able to move mountains through Jesus by the Holy Spirit. <laughs> Listen, it takes practice and a muscle memory to 
to go straight to God help me God I'm coming straight to you Lord I need you instead of trying to figure it out Google it call Sugar May and them Sugar May and them I don't know who that is <laughs> but you understand what I'm saying like it is we it takes a muscle memory to say I'm going straight to God Usually we end up working harder, wasting time and money. Those two are the same thing to me, but getting frustrated in the process. Meanwhile, God is sitting back saying, if you will only ask me, come talk to me. I'll show you what to do. I'll tell you what to do. But we want to go to everybody else and ask everybody else their opinion. Praying is the last thing. Talking to God is the last thing. Consequently, this causes so many issues and life experiences that go down hill. And this is not good for us. It's not good for us. The bottom line is we have to begin to truly trust God and believe in Him believe that he knows and has the best for us and that nothing that we are going through is too big for him it is not a surprise to him god is not shocked like your homeboy was god is not shocked like your mama is he is not shocked when these things happen Everything that happens is an opportunity for him to show up in your life and blow your mind if you let him, if you believe that he can. But we we don't, we don't, we doubt, we forget, we lose sight of him. As you have learned, I am not just talking to you. I am talking to me too. So I have to remind myself what is required of us. If you say, I believe in God, and if you say, I'm a Christian, there are there's a certain requirement of us. And it is a boldness that is acquired, required of us. There's an audaciousness required of us. Like the audacity of you to think that, yes? There's an audaciousness, like the audacity, the unmitigated gall. The audacity! <laughs> we have to believe. And it's almost to the point where people might think you are crazy the way you believe. I want to get back to that point, that that point of being, feeling, or hearing people say, really? You believe that? Yes. Wholeheartedly, I believe that. That's where I want to get back to. When I was in college, um, and one of my best friends, Mania, hey, shout out, Mania, um, will attest to this, and this is really telling my age, because gas was 79 cents. So we would need to drive the two hours from school home. And not just home, but I would need to be able to go to drop Mania off and then still drive to my own house, which was about 25 minutes apart. So that was, for me, two hours and a half for her two hours. We would not have any money. We would just have my little red LeBaron. And I would say, come on, let's go. And now that I think about it, it's kind of stupid. But the audacity to believe, okay? Um, if you don't have any money and you are low on gas, it would make sense to you not to take the back road, but to get on the expressway. That way, if something happens, there are other cars there and somebody might be able to help you or find you for that matter. Not me. No, 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 no. 
had the audacity to believe that not only were we going to get home, but we could go the scenic route. So we would drive, we would come up with at least $3 worth of gas. Just $3. And we would drive all the way from West Georgia to Bars Park and then to Decatur. Without a doubt. And I would dare say at that time, now um, our lives have changed and shifted. So she probably has that audacity to believe more than me right now. I'm growing back to it. But at that time, I believe Mania would sit in the car and cringe a little bit. But at the same time, I remember her telling me how much she admired my faith. Because I was audacious with it. There was no doubt in my mind that we were going to make it home. Period. I had no doubt in my mind we were going to make it home. Or make it anywhere for that matter. On $3 worth of gas. And sometimes we would put two in and go get it. <laughs> um, you know, in the, case, in the case where McDonald's would have the 25 cent um, cheeseburgers, we take, take a dollar and get some cheeseburgers and fries. And a fry, and a fry, and two cups of water. <laughs> and drive home. This is what is required of us. Now, some people probably saw me in, or even may have heard that story and said, that sounds stupid. You sound stupid. That was irresponsible and stupid. Hmm, okay. If you say so. Not once, not ever, were we on the side of the road. Not once, not ever, did we not make it home. That's all I know. And that's what I believed. That God would get us home. And he did. And so now, 20 years later, I want to get back to a place of the audacity. Having this, how dare you believe? Yeah, that's where I was going to be. In order to get there, I think there are three like steps, three things that I need to keep in mind as I'm trying to get back to this boldness, as I'm trying to get back to this audaciousness to believe. Okay, So one is to believe that God is the end all be all. Everything, everything. And to believe everything that he says. Okay, that's the first thing. He is the Alpha and Omega. He is the beginning and the end. He is, I am. Two, that we are his children, his chosen, his called, and there's nothing he will not do for his children. Best father ever, ever. There's nothing he won't do for me. I am his, period. Three is to stand on that belief no matter what it looks like, what it feels like, what it sounds like. I have to stand on that belief that God loves me, he's going to take care of me, and that he has all authority. So this is the muscle that I must exercise through prayer, daily Bible study, and meditation that this is a forward movement. We talked about that last week. I must do a forward movement. Every day I must pray and acknowledge God, his grace and his mercy, his authority in my life and his guidance. No matter what happens throughout the day, throughout the week, whatever, my boldness, my audacious faith, I must maintain that. I must choose to take God with me wherever I go and believe that everything, everything is going to work out for my good. Period. With the T on me. Period. This is what I must believe. The bottom line is 
Don't forget to remember what you believe. This will help you not to sabotage when blessings come your way. If you don't know what you believe, and sometimes, you know, I'm a list girl, so it always is good to make a list and put it up somewhere so that you remember and that you never forget. So for me, here's what I believe. I believe, I believe in God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The three-part trinity. I believe that God sent his only begotten son to die for my sins, that I may come boldly to his throne, and that I am adopted as his child because of that sacrifice. Okay. I believe that, that I have been given the gift of salvation through Christ Jesus, but this is a daily walk in a daily lifestyle that I am walking it out every day. I am living it every day. It's not just something that I put on a shelf. It's every day. I believe that Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. He is my path, my example, and my God. I believe that I have a purpose, a hope, and a future. And there's nothing that can change that. I can delay it, but it will not be denied. I believe that all things are possible through Christ Jesus. All things. Everything, all, like, Put, another word for all, whatever put a word in that yes that's possible too I believe that I have authority to do great works and move mountains that I have been given that authority through Christ Jesus I believe that there is nothing that I can do say nothing that can separate me from the love of God. No matter how much I fall, say the wrong things, no matter how much I mess up, and I mess up, I mess up, but he still loves me. No matter what, God still loves me and he still loves you. These are the things that I believe. These are the things that I need to write on my wall. These are the things that I need to keep in mind when um, that, that sense of sabotage, that spirit of sabotage tries to come up. Or when fear tries to come in and make me believe that I am wrong, that I am not enough, that I don't deserve, that I shouldn't have, that I am something that needs to be fixed. I believe that God loves me and he wants the best for me. I believe that he has a purpose for me, that there is purpose in my life. And when there is purpose in your life, certain things don't matter. Certain things aren't you know, it, it may not be as bad because everything's for a reason. The things that I go through, I'm going to be honest. Uh, I've been honest, but let's keep it 100, shall we? Everything I've gone through in my life was for me to sit here and to bear it all on camera write it down, say it so that you know you are not alone. So that if it helps one person 
to believe again, to trust again, to not think that they are alone and that nobody's ever gone through what they've been through. And I know for some people, I might not even tell you much. For others, men, you tell everything. Mm, whatever. It may not be for you. This is for the person who is sitting and saying, Lord, I feel alone. Lord, nobody else has gone through what I'm going through. Nobody understands. Nobody cares. I can. I understand. And I believe that just like God has a purpose for me, He has a purpose for you. He has a hope for you and a future. That over 2,000 years ago when He sent His Son to die on the cross for your sins, He knew then everything that you were going to do before you were even formed in your mother's womb. Before you were even a twinkle in her eye, he knew. And there is nothing that can separate you from his love. I believe that wholeheartedly. I have the audacity to believe that. And I think about when you, even when you say audacity, <laughs> audacity to me is when other people are flabbergasted at something about you, what you said, what you've done. Like the, oh, the audacity. That's what I think audacity stands or means. And I would dare say, check yourself. If somebody says, hey, you know what? I believe blah, dot, 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 whatever it is blah 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 I believe and you have the nerve to say who are you to believe that check yourself you're only saying that because you don't have enough gumption to believe it for yourself and that's okay that's hey it only takes one choice one decision to begin to believe to have the audacity for yourself I dare you Dare you. That's what we walk away with today on Saturday. Okay? I dare you to stop and say, what do I believe? And believe it wholeheartedly. I dare you. I double dog dare you. I triple dog dare you. I dare you. To have the audacity to believe. Whatever it is God is telling you, whatever he said to you, and you haven't told nobody because you was like, who's going to believe me? They don't have to. Okay? They don't have to. We talked about this last week. Ask God to send the right people to be around you, to support you, to love you, to push you through. Okay? People that will support you by putting their money where their mouth is. People that will support you with giving you their time, their energy. People that will support you, even if it's just a phone call and say, hey, you got this. You can do this. Those are the people you need around you. And those are the people who will be have the same audacity to believe with you. Go be audacious today. Believe. If you're unsure what you believe, you need some help with that, hit me up. I'll help you. We'll figure it out. We'll figure this thing out. <laughs> I love you guys. Have a great Saturday. A great weekend. Oh, tomorrow is uh, Valentine's Day. And I believe I love you. And I believe there's love out there to show and to have and to get. And if nobody else says they love you, I love you. And guess what? God loves you too. Believe that. All right? Be blessed. Be audacious. Have a good one. Oh, you know what I'm going to say, right? Like it. Uh-huh. Share it. Share it. Subscribe to it. Come
Come on, come on. You can do it. Bye.